last play. I don't know how you're so calm because I was screaming at the top of my lungs. Take me through it. Uh, when we coach drew up a play uh, for us to flare Ant to the weak side and then basically I just popped back and um, I knew that they was going to you know, try to deny me and be real physical so I just popped back uh, towards half court for Rocco. Um, he picked me up. You know, I just wanted to get him on his heels and get a clean look. You know, and if I missed it, you know, that probably would have been game but uh, it, it, it been feeling good coming off my hands all night, and I made that one. Uh, we kept talking about it in the huddles, you know, don't foul right away. Try to get a trap and tie him up for a jump ball. Uh, GP, GT, you know, been playing great for us. Um, you know, big balls by him. You know, he went for the jump ball, smart play. Then he went and won the jump ball against probably the most athletic player in the league. <laughs> um, Rocco made a hustle play, got it to me, and after that, you know, it was up to me to, you know, just get a quality shot up. Uh, I had a, a big on me. I, you know, got some space, hit a step back, and, you know, that was game. So um, in these situations, I usually look up at the clock and I, um, I I get real ambitious. You know, I look and I see, you know, what, how can I come get us out of this situation or how can I help our team come out of this situation? Um, and a lot of times it doesn't work out, but today it just happened to work out. Yes, it was. Six seconds left. Yeah! Let's go, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Dollar. Nice coach. You don't see your coach. Good job, brother. That's what I'm talking about. He got his phone. Yeah, I'm thinking everything. <laughs> Let's go. But come on. Let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Damn, this is yet another one of those moments where when they're hanging up your jersey or maybe going to the hall, they're going to roll that uh, Dame time capsule, and this is one of them. So where does this one rank up with the, the all-time classic Damian Lillard moments? You said where does this rank? Yeah, for you. I mean, obviously it ain't a playoff game, but just the, just the magic of it to be down like that so late and there's no quit and it's kind of kind of proving the pit, putting for what kind of player you are. Um, I'm not sure. You know, I think I would will, I will have to see them all in front of me to be able to um, I guess um, express how I felt about each one. You know, usually when I see those plays, I'm able to go back to those moments pretty easily. So I, I would have to see each play. But I think this one is uh, special, you know, because, um, you know, in these situations where, you know, we down five, I think with 11 seconds left, um, you know, those are the moments where the winning team thinks that, you know, they got the game pretty much wrapped up. And the opposing team is discouraged. And um, in my head, you know, I think Terry or Coach Stotts, I don't know why I called him Terry. I never called him that. Um, I think Coach Stotts and, you know, Coach Oz and Coach Nate and, and Coach Jim, you know, Coach Juice, they all tell you that I'm the most ambitious person in the world. You know, I, they take me out when we down 10 with 15 seconds left and I, I'm coming out the game pissed off. Because in my head, I you know I just play out every situation of you know how we could somehow uh, come out on top in that moment, and I think this this is special because usually it never works out how it, how I see it in my head. Usually I'm just you know I'm crazy about the situation when really it's like no chance of that happening. Um, but tonight, you know, five point game. You know, we got the ball. It's only 11 seconds left, and um, in my head, I was like, all right, you know, on the side out of bounds, if they chase me. 
I'm gonna try to run to the ball and stop and let them run into me to get a free throw and then get it back and pump fake and try to hit a three and get fouled. And then I was like, if he don't chase me, I'm just gonna get a catch and try to uh, raise up for a three, you know, as soon as I get it. So we have enough time in case we foul and they miss free throws and we can come down and get another shot. Um, but once, you know, GT got the jump ball, we've been talking about that, you know, over the last couple of games, like if we down before we foul, go for a jump ball, try to tie him up first. And GT, you know, had, you know, his mind was working in that play. And once he went to the, uh, to the jump circle in my head, I was like, it's about to happen. <laughs> like I'm going, the ball going to end up in my hands. I ain't going to have much time, but like, this is one of those ambitious moments that like, that never happened, you know, it never comes to life, but you know, this time it did. So I think because of that is, you know, this is gonna be a special one.